Hello ladies and gentlemen, tonight we will be looking at uh, contemporary realistic fiction in our seventh module. First I want to thank the people that came to for the library field trip today. It was fun meeting you in person and I enjoyed touring the library with you. For those of you that didn't make it, I'm sorry you missed it. So the first thing you want to do is download this response document which will walk you through pretty much the steps. Also, you're going to need to download and read the PowerPoint here, which is a short PowerPoint addressing realistic fiction. And for this week, we're going to address some of the information in Chapter 7 out of the class textbook. And Chapter 7, which you already should have read, is called Contemporary Realistic Fiction. So it's kind of neat this week because we're mixing realistic fiction plus the neurodiversity books you're going to read. So first, let's walk through this um, response sheet. So first of all, just kind of consider basic series that you've read, realistic or not, just any series, and talking about series books in general. And then we're going to look at some of these types of realistic fiction books and pick um, four of these to address. So she in the, in the chapter talks about different components that make up those types of books. So you can list those components that are significant. Also maybe um, a couple of sample books that you actually would like to read, maybe not for this class, but eventually. Maybe come up with at least two per of books that you think you'd like to read based on what she talks about in the book. So secondly, the books we read for this week are all um, contemporary or realistic fiction, but have a neurodiversity bend. So these were the books and now you're going to consider those books and look at this chapter. This is a chapter, first chapter from a book on neurodiversity in the classroom by Thomas Armstrong, who's done some great work just on education in general, but specifically looking at neurologically diverse learners. So that means we are all diverse, of course, and we all even think differently and approach things differently. But these are neurologically divergent students, so they could be autistic or someone with Down syndrome or someone who's ADD. So someone has a distinct definitive difference because as educators we need to be sensitive to children with different learning needs. So this is an introduction. You'll get more of this in your teacher ed program and in the masters if you go on. But here are some things to think about now. And then you're going to look at a Pinterest link which has all kinds of different activities related to contemporary realistic fiction. Choose two of them and like I've modeled here, describe which two you would pick to use in your classroom and just put a little description underneath and you're going to post that on the class wiki. So here's the wiki here and then respond to two of each other's. So you'll upload your document that you responded to here in the Dropbox and I just wanted to give you sort of upcoming big assignments besides our usual weekly things. The library exploration paper is due in two weeks. The family story backpack is due, what, three or four weeks. Then in December we have the virtual library and the last week of class your e-portfolio presentation. And more details will come about how to post that virtual library in a Google library. So you guys have a terrific week and contact me if you have questions.